and welcome to this tutorial on adding an object to Blender and we are going to add in a bow so we can make a little archer character. Uh, as you've probably noticed we're not in Design Doll right now, we are instead in Blender. Blender is a free 3D modeling and animation program which you can download off the internet. Just type Blender into Google and it'll come up. It's a, it's a really great program. I'm not going to go into a tutorial of how to model the bow in Blender because there are quite a lot of um, very good tutorials on how to use Blender. So this one, this video is just specifically how to get from Blender into Design Doll. And I'm sure this can probably work with many different 3D modeling programs. This is just the one that I use. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to go going. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go into File and click on export and we want to export it as a wavefront.obj so we want to put it into a file we're going to be able to find it later right now it's red because I've actually already um, uh, I've exported this out a couple of times before because I've had to uh, make multiple takes of this video so we would just type in a name here we've already got bow.object but let's overwrite it just so you can see how that works we click on export and now we just have to hop on over to Design Doll. We've got just the basic doll here. We've got uh, if we've got a box already, an uh, an object, but we could go to Item Add Object. Whoop! Item Add Object Box. We're not going to do that because we already have this. So instead, let's right click on Box. There we go. Right click on Box. Add Tag. Import Tag. This little paper clip here. So when we click on the paper clip. We now have these options, Import Mesh, Set Actual Size, Reset. We want to click on Import Mesh. Now we find our bow.obj, it's in our file that we put it in. Open that on up. And now it's set to 3.5 because, like I said, I've already done this a few times. This is the size that I liked. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how this correlates to the size that you made it in your program. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, all I can say is just play around with the different sizes. So we'll click apply. That gives us this bow here. Now I like this size, but if I didn't and I wanted to change it, I would go to set actual size. I'd type in, you know, a different size here and apply it. But I think this size is pretty good. So let's position this in the, the position, I guess, where we want our, our doll to be holding it. Now we can go and pose our doll to hold the bow. So her, her arm needs to be pretty out there, so we see we need to move this bow over again. Oh, we have to click on box, and then we can move it. Okay, that's not working. So let's, uh, let's right click again, add another tag, position tag. So now we have a position tag for our bow. It looks a little bit offset, but that's okay. Move it. Oh, that looks good. And of course, being designed all, I could edit her hand so that it actually looked like she was gripping it, but I'm honestly not going to bother because this is just a quick video. I'm going to assume that you already know the basics of posing a doll if you're already moving on to adding objects. Let's try and move her hand. Now I did not add a bowstring because I figured that would be, you know, very easy to just draw in myself. since that's just a couple of, you know, lines connecting the hand and the bow and all that. It's up to you if you wanted to go into more detail, model that yourself, draw it in somehow. And we need to make her look at her target. And there we go, now we've got this nice little archer character with her bow. I hope this is helpful.